Yes. Now we we'll discuss about the perineum part two, that is anal triangle. First of all, we make a diagram. This is. boundary of the perineum and clearly it is bounded by pubic arch upper part of the pubic arch here is arcuate pubic ligament this is arcuate pubic ligament posteriorly sacrum coccyx and on each side Ischio pubic ramus, ischial tuberosity, sacro tuberous ligament. So these structures form the boundary of the perineum. These are the deep boundary of the perineum. This perineum is divided into two triangles by a horizontal line. Which passes anterior to ischial tuberosity. By this line, this perineum is divided into urogenital region. This region is anterior region, that is urogenital region, and posteriorly, this is anal region or anal triangle. Urogenital triangle, anal triangle. Here is anal canal is present. In this position of perineal body, this is perineal body. And here is a fossa known as ischio rectal fossa. Or ischio inner fossa. So in this triangle, in the triangle, there is inner canal and ischio rectal fossa. If you cut a section at this level, you will find This is a rectum, here is inner canal, this is inner canal. This is inner columns, here inner column. And here is, this is white line of Hilton, this is white line of Hilton. This line is pectinate line. This is pectinate line. So this part is rectum. This is inner canal. Here is inner muscular coat. In anal region, this muscular coat forms internal inner sphincter. This is internal inner sphincter. Here is 
next layer that is outer longitudinal coat of the muscle of the rectum this muscle joins with the muscle fiber of levator ani this is levator ani here the levator ani muscle fibers and longitudinal muscle coat of the rectum join to form conjoint longitudinal coat this is conjoint longitudinal coat and from this coat numerous septa arises medially intermuscular septum arises and laterally perianal septum arises this is perianal septum and let to this there is external anal sphincter so this is external anal sphincter so these are three external anal sphincter muscle according to position this is subcutaneous this is superficial this is deep external anal sphincter so these are three external anal sphincter deep superficial and subcutaneous from here this conjoint longitudinal coat neural septa arises also reach up to the skin this is skin Here, this is levator ani. This is medially. This is laterally. Here, this is laterally. Here is a fascia known as obturator fascia. This is obturator fascia. This fascia covers. obturator internus muscle this is ischial tuberosity this is ischial tuberosity this is ischial this is ischial tuberosity so here is obturator internus this muscle is obturator internus muscle it is covered by fascia that is known as obturator fascia this fascia is obturator fascia this covers obturator internus this is levator ani superiority is covered by here it is covered by pelvic fascia and inferiorly it is covered by anal fascia this is anal fascia so if you it is covered by anal fascia this is anal fascia here is under fascia that is lunate fascia this is lunate fascia this is lunate fascia lunate this fascia is lunate fascia here it splits and forms pudendal canal this is pudendal canal this is pudendal canal in this canal pudendal nerve is present this is pudendal nerve and 
internal pudendal artery internal pudendal vein so these structures are present in pudendal canal so this perianal fascia fuse with this pudendal canal this is this skin so now you can see here from here to here this is ischiorectal fossa ischiorectal fossa so ischiorectal fossa is bounded inferiorly it is bounded by is skin this is is skin this is is skin superiorly it is here is skin form the base here is apex apex is formed by joining of obturator fascia this is obturator fascia which covers the obturator internus muscle this is obturator fascia and this fascia is anal fascia so apex is formed by this is apex is formed by obturator fascia and anal fascia this is joining point of obturator fascia and anal fascia here apex is formed so it has base it has apex base is formed by skin apex is formed by up to joining point of the obturator fascia and anal fascia this point it has lateral wall this is lateral wall this is lateral wall lateral wall is formed by this part this is obturator fascia and here is obturator internus muscle then ischial tuberosity and ischial this from lateral wall and this medial wall is formed by this is medial wall so from here to here this is medial wall so medial wall is formed by this anal fascia which superiorly covers the levator canine and inferior it covers these muscles these are external anal sphincter deep superficial and subcutaneous so these structures form the medial boundary now anterior and posterior boundary of this for seeing the anterior and posterior boundary we can make another diagram if you cut a section at this level this is parasolateral section then we will find this anterior and posterior boundary this is anterior and posterior boundary here is pubis this is pubic bone here this is levator anal and here is coccyx here is coccygeus it is covered by superiorly by pelvic fascia inferiorly it is covered by anal fascia this is anal fascia and here is position of gluteus maximus this is gluteus maximus and this sacrotuberous ligament here is sacrotuberous ligament this is sacrotuberous ligament here is perineal membrane this is perineal membrane here is here is coniz fascia this is superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm so this is this is perineal membrane here is deep 
and this is superficial perineal pouch. Deep and superficial perineal pouch. So this part is perineal membrane. And here is skin. This is skin. So this is istriorectal space. Anterior boundary, anteriority is bounded by this perineal membrane. Here you can see this is istriorectal fossa, anteriority is bounded by perineal membrane. This, this membrane is perineal membrane. Here. This present in urogenital region. This region. This is perineal membrane. Posterior border of the perineal membrane. And posteriorly, it is bounded by gluteus maximus gluteus maximus so this is the anterior boundary you had you have seen that base apex lateral boundary medial boundary anterior boundary posterior boundary so these are boundary of the fistulator fossa now division of this fistulator fossa are spaces present in istiorectal fossa. Here is one space. This is space is filled with fat. This is perianal space. This is space is perianal space. Here, fat are present in small laculae small laculae if this region is infected it become severe painful and another region another space is this space here fat are loosely arranged This is known as ischiorectal space. This space is ischiorectal space. If in infection in this space occurs, it becomes less painful in comparison to this. Because here fat are loosely arranged. Here fat are tightly arranged, tightly packed in laculae. Here is loosely arranged. And the space here you can see above the lunate fascia this space this is filled with loose connective tissue this is known as supra tegmental space this space is supra tegmental space So, ischiorectal fossa is divided into three spaces that is perineal space, ischiorectal space, and suprategmental space. If this space is infected, sometimes pus is formed here and a track is formed. For draining of the pus here or here, this is known as fistula in inu. This is known as fistula in inu. Fistula in inu. There are three recess. One recess is present here. This is anterior recess extends anteriorly up to pubic bone. There is posterior recess. It extends up to sac sacrotubus ligament. And there is horseshoe shaped recess. In this diagram you can see here is horseshoe shaped recess. This recess is horseshoe shaped recess. This is very important clinically because infection of one side Suppose here is infection, this infection may extend 
up to another side by this half shoe step resistors. So there are three resistors anterior resistors, posterior resistors, and half shoe step resistors. Now, what is the content of this steroid glucosa? One thing, there is fat. And the important thing is here is pudendal nerve. This branch of the pudendal nerve that is inferior rectal nerve and inferior rectal artery vein here inferior rectal nerve and artery and vein and the branch of this pudendal nerve is also present in this region that is posterior scrotal or posterior labial nerve and artery these are the branches of this and the nerves are present in this region is a perforating branch of S2, S3 and perineal branch of S4 this is perineal branch of S4 so these structures are present in ischiorectal fossa or ischioinal fossa this fossa is also known as ischioinal fossa because it lies between ischium and inner canal so ischioinal fossa is more character in comparison to ischiorectal fossa so this is all about the ischiorectal fossa or inner triangle